as I stated before to you about beginning, that you're starting something new, okay? And so that's going to be dealing with you understanding what adventure that you're um, seeking into and understanding that you have gone through a significant change through a transformation of something coming to an end through the doorway opening up to starting a new. Um, so through my energies and what I feel like what I'm feeling for me is that there's going to be a significant change in your life and it's going to be spread through you realizing what your inner peace is, understanding what you believe, what you believe before to what you believe in now. And so you're going to have to utilize and tap into your inner self because your spiritual pathway has changed then from before. Important. Okay, and so now this is the time where you're going to have to, you're going to need that masculine energy because that masculine energy is going to problem solve some things for you um, because it's going to help you to ground yourself without thinking with your heart because lately you've been thinking with your heart a lot and that masculine energy is what's going to help you to not do that and that's what you need right now. You gotta have control over your every aspect of your mental, right? I do know that on the terms of love, I do feel like uh, there is someone that's within you. Well, I have a different form of love. Let's talk about the different forms of love. So there's someone that is close to you that feels like a male energy, but that very well can be a female energy because a lot of times, sometimes some women, I just told you about women having masculine energy, right? right? So they can very well be a female, but I definitely feel like that is going to be someone that uh, has a logic point of view on some things that's going to also assist you with uh, navigating through uh, certain things that you have planned. Um, so, Time. Now, on the terms of love, let me get into that. Now, so I kind of gave you bits and pieces of what I'm saying, so as we go, I will explain more. I do feel a partnership. I did mention that earlier about a partnership. That's one of the first things I see. I talked to you about a partnership, um, and I feel like this is going to be dealing with the, the future. There's going to be different, you're going to have different forms of partnerships, so. It feels like you're going to possibly have a business partnership, you're going to have a romantic partnership, and you're going to have a friend partnership. Now, this could all be one entity, and it could all be several different people that that all have a partnership of energy about them. But it's definitely a partnership. But I do, however, see some romance coming in. But you, I that you're going to have to make some choices as far as relationships are concerned. So you have to figure out what it is that you need and what it is that you're asking people to give you. I don't really feel like you're really clear about that and that's why you have a lot of difficult relationships and situations because you're not clear about what you need and because you're not clear about what you need, people don't know how to give it to you because you're not telling them exactly what it is. Because sometimes you'll say, hey, I need my feet rub today. And then they'll rub a bit. She'll be like, hey, that's not what I wanted. But you say that's what you wanted. You know what I'm saying? So you have to make some decisions. So that's part of the decision making. You need to put down, I don't want to tell you to put down a list, but you need to really think about the things that you want as far as the relationship is concerned. Or are you able to? Stand in for the long haul. 
Are you willing to work through problems in these different relationships? Whether it be via friendship, whether it be via business relationship, whether it be romantic relationships, or are you willing to stand and work through them? Because you have to uncover like the truth. You have to uncover the truth. You have to let go of abandonment issues. You have to start reflecting um, upon things that you've done in your past that you made a mistake on and understand why you made the mistake and not keep repeating what you feel. Because a lot of things that have happened to you have been a mirror. It's been a mirror for you to look back at like, damn. Like, for example, and I'm not talking about, okay, because I know a lot of people got, um, I keep saying this a lot, and I'm going to keep saying it. Karma, they got karma wrong. Karma is not a situation where you bad, so bad comes back to you. You're good, so good comes back to you. Because think of all the fucked up people in the world that do fucked up shit, and they still are getting richer, richer, and richer. Why? Right? So it's not about about the children who's sick, right? So it's not about good, bad, and good. What it's about is lessons that we have to learn. Everything happens for a reason, so we have to learn the lessons. In each relationship or each situationship that we're in, we have to understand why we're there, what the lesson is, what the blessing is. And see, and sometimes it can be one and the same. So a lot of things that have happened to you has been a reflection. Some some of the reflections has been your thought process because you thought that you wanted this person. So the law of attraction attracted that person to you. And then when you received that person, you was like, oh, hell no, nah, this is some bullshit, right? And then they started doing some bullshit, right? Because you put that into the universe. Uh, so this is going to be a period that you really look back and think about a lot of stuff that you have done uh, with different people. It's not bad or good, but just why. It's not about bad or good, it's just why. Um, so you have to think about these different things in these relationships and uncover what the truth is and uncover the lesson in it and learn from it so you don't have to keep attracting the same type of people because that's been throughout that you have attracted uh, similar people. Even if they're not the same damn person they damn near, you might as well say the same damn person. You might as well say their name is Ralph or Bob Joe because they're the same damn person. Um, so just understand, and then understand too what your connection is with this particular person. That's important too. We don't understand what our connection is. Your connection might just be to deal with that person for you to start a business and not to stay with them long term. Or your connection might have been maybe y'all had, maybe I knew each other in a former life. There's so many different connections and connecting with different people that you can't just look at it like, okay, whatever. You got to understand what the connection is with this particular person. This particular person might just be for a fee and for a tip for temporary respect. That's why it's important because everybody's not missing in your life forever. Or maybe five years. Okay, so, so if you ask me about a relationship, I would say that you need what you need to discover what what you learned from that particular relationship, and what can you learn further. If you can't learn anything further, or you can't teach them anything, then you need to get out of it. Okay. Work. 
So you're going to start uh, traveling. I see a lot of traveling for you uh, this year. I see that you're, I see a lot of things that you have accomplished. You're going to start being rewarded for that. So that's pretty good. Um, however, upon your traveling, um, upon your business ventures, I do see money. I do see more financial stability coming for you. But right now, you're going to be at a tight financial uh, energy right now. Money is a little tight right now because you're trying to save and, and do some different things. And that's great. You need to save. Saving is really good for the soul. Uh, but again, we're not Egyptians or Kemet folks, so we can't take it with us. So, <laughs> so I understand, I understand that. Um, let me make sure I touch on what the hell I'm supposed to Okay, so let me go into this other situation I saw. This is real. Now, this is going to be dealing with, I, uh, like I said, I see a lot of business adventures for you. I see a lot of money that's going to be coming to you. You're going to start receiving a lot of monetary gains. It's all about you clearing up. It, it takes you gonna, You need to clear up your mind and remove any doubt. As long as you have that doubt within, it is stopping you from really becoming more successful. The doubt is, is draining you. Okay, so let's talk about the difference between the, um, the, uh, spiritual world and the material world. So, <laughs> there's a such thing as not being too materialistic right now. Some shit you may have to give up to get better. So, for example, that cow, you might have a cow that's raggedy as hell. It's decent. Well, oh, let me take it back. It may be a decent cow that somebody else can get a good wearing out of it, right? Right. Uh, you might just need to hey, You give it away, then you'll find yourself blessed with another couch that's better. You understand what I'm saying? So... Never, don't get attached to any materialism at this point in time because it's draining your focus. The more and more attached you are to materialism, and not just materialism, but people and things and places, stop getting so attached to these types of things because you are stopping your blessing. Um, so as long as you can show gratitude and be grateful for the things that you have, more things will come. So although you may have this couch that may be not the, the best couch, but it's still a couch and it will work temporarily until you receive another blessing, until you be able to save to get another couch. So don't don't feel like man, this is I can't believe I can pull right the couch. I'm ready to get another one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so just wait that couch. Be patient. Start working toward it. Again, you know you're on a financial crunch, so don't uh, just buy something right now just because you're sick of looking at the old situation. Okay. this money does not mean that you need to just blow it mm -hmm. because it's going to be something that you're going to need later on that you may not be able to afford if you spend it and you have to crush everything together and that's not what you want to do you want to already have it and not have to get and not have to sweat that you got to spend it, right mm -hmm. uh, okay I'm not done yet um so so this is also a time where you have to develop more security for yourself. Security as far as financially, as I was stating to you. Security as far as relationships. And we, we're going to talk more into that too. Security on the terms of your, your physical self. This is a time where you're going to start mastering your ability. Mastering things that you're really good at. 
because this is going to help make you more money as well. It's going to help you to relax more. It's going to help you to um, get more of a break, uh, become more spiritual. And it's also, that say more money? I did. Uh, definitely more money. Let me repeat that again. So I do see a lot of achievements that's going to happen for, me, for you. You're going to have to figure out what investments are going to be the best for you at this particular time. I already gave you some clues. I said, yourself, you're the most important investment. Investing into yourself, investing into business. Investing into something that you're going to get a return on. You're going to always get a return on yourself, right? right. So you know you need to invest in yourself. You're gonna, so you have to figure out what business will give you profit. If it's not going to give you a profit, don't do it. I know, I know I've talked a lot of people doesn't say it's passion, passion, passion. Yes, but at the same time, if your passion ain't making you no money, then quit fucking doing it. Because hmm. they got to pay off. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll give me a second here so I can get. I'm still here. I Went nowhere. Um, I just had to breathe because I talk fast. As you hear, it's okay. 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 So, so a couple of things. Let's talk about a couple of fear factors. I see some fear on the times of a relationship. I know I already told you about a union. Okay. So what? I don't think I mentioned it. I told you about a a relationship. A physical relationship, and what else? I forgot. I didn't write that down. That was a friendship. Of my a friendship, a business a partnership. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So that uh, that 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 also a spiritual relationship is what I didn't mention. That's what I had on the tip of my tongue, but I forgot. Mm -hmm. So that spiritual relationship is also going to be a very powerful. Okay, so let me break that spiritual relationship down. That spiritual relationship is actually going to be your uh, soulmate. Hello, ding, 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 your soulmate. Mm. Yeah. Just because you have, we have, many of us have, some of us have multiple souls. Some of us may have a quick claim. Because you have a soulmate does not mean that you're going to be with them. It does not mean that you're going to stay with them forever or even that you're going to keep them. So just understand that. So if you do think them, you do fall in love and it feels good and wonderful. But don't be, don't get married to that agenda because you might just be in that relationship so you can learn something from. Remember I told you that early on? Okay. Okay. So, so a lot of relationships that we get in or reflections of our own mind. So if your mind is a reflection of a, a reflection of that's what the relationship is going to be. So if you don't want no fucked up shit, then change that mind. Okay. Um, Mm. Um, but you gotta let go of a lot of those bags and you have to really start focusing on yourself and you have to stop and you have to focus on not how many people hurt you and why they hurt you you can make a note of it you can go okay Johnny hurt me Susie sausage bob all head you know friendship because for you all relationships play a part in your life. It don't for everybody. But for you in particular, all relationships play a part in your life, whether that's parental relationships or um, physical, emotional relationships. 
because it doesn't feel like you've had all the same type of relationships, but they are all one and the same. It's still the same law of attraction that you have attracted. Um, so I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to explain this better. So you might have had a physical relationship, but it didn't have, it was unemotional, right? Mm-hmm. So that's why I said you're going to have different types of relationship. It doesn't really feel like you've had a real, it was always that person either likes you more than you like them. It was never at the same time. Mm. Uh, so that has to be a lot of healing that has to take in place. And that's what I've said, because you can't have, two, you can't eat two apples at the same time. You either got to eat one, and when you're done eating that one apple, then you can move on to the next apple. And that's what's wrong with a lot in your life. You try to take on too much at the same time. And that's why you end up emotionally drained because you're trying to do something in this particular relationship and it's another relationship relationship that comes along and you're dealing with that. Then you got this business relationship that you're dealing with that. So you're dealing with all these other entities that's not advancing you or helping you or growing you. And you're constantly going back and you're like, it's like you're in battle with yourself. You've been battling yourself for so long Uh, I'm not saying that, but what I am saying is that 
it's not always about the materialism. Uh, it's about the wealth of it. It's about the wealth of your spiritual. It's about the wealth of your mental, your psychological. It's not just about the physical act, the materialism part of it. So you have to really start looking at completing some of these goals and challenges you have. And you have to, for God's sake, make some decisions. Mm. <laughs> you got to make some decisions in your life. Um, and really, like, not be afraid to make decisions, not be, not be in fear of making the wrong decisions. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you see relocation? I know you said travel. You see a lot of travel. Yes. Do you see? I, I see it's open to relocation. Yes. Okay. Travel, traveling, traveling could, could mean you you taking trips. Traveling can also mean relocation. So that is that is also open. Do mm -hmm. I see it's possible if I had to do a percentile, one hundred being the strongest, seventy five percent being relocation? Mm -hmm. Because again, I told you that you're going to start seeing more signs that come to you. I told you that you're going to start seeing more things that make more sense. There are a lot of hard work that you have put in over the years. You will start receiving the benefits of that. And so part of those benefits could possibly be for traveling. Mm. Um, could consist of traveling. Could, could also consist of you being in uh, different types of relationships. And beginning to really start investing in yourself. So I see some investment. I see a lot of investment. Um, you know, not just the spiritual, physical, et cetera, right? Mm -hmm. I also see like some business ventures. Mm -hmm. I see some business ventures. You just have to decide on where you want to put your money at. Okay. You know, event, uh, 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 investments could be you moving as well. You know that, right? Yes. Uh, moving as well, uh, because you're going to be putting your invest monies into your moves. That's an investment. You're investing in yourself. So definitely spend a lot of time in investing into yourself. Stop trying to invest in other people who's not investing in you, who won't give you the time of day. Put your money where you know it's going to be found. You can always depend on you. You're going to always have something because you're a hard worker, because you really want to make things happen. And you can't put money in other people who's not going to do it the way that you're going to do it because it's not their money. When somebody takes somebody else's money, when you are, when we're always doing stuff for other people, they never appreciate it truly unless they're investing their dollars into it. Because guess what? If you invest money into your own business, then you're going to work 24 hours a day. If, someone give, if you give somebody else money, they're not going to work as hard as you are, that you do. Because you want to return. Mm. And then spend their money. So they their return is not going to, they're not going to work as hard. Mm -hmm. that, that makes sense, right? Because yes. I know if I work for a company, you working for a company, I'm not going to put all those hard sweat. I'm going to work, but I ain't going to work like I would if it was my company. I work harder in my business than I did for anybody else that I've ever did in another company, ever. I did the minimum at companies. And it look, and I made them look, I made it look like I was working really hard, but I wasn't doing shit compared to what I do for my business. Mm. Cause I'm investing my money. Right. I'm investing my time. I'm sacrificing time for my family. All of that costs. Mm. Now, I'm listening and I'm going to heed your advice. Um, you got all this from feeling my energy? Yes. 
Okay. All right. <laughs> you like hell no. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Good stuff. <laughs> yep. Nah, I keep trying to tell people uh, it's lazy to use cars. I'm talking about use cars is when I feel like being lazy. I'm not lazy today. <laughs> <laughs> and I just and I just feel the energy off of the car. Mm -hmm. I don't go off of the car. Say I've never gone off the cars because the cars they're just tools. They're not. They're tools. They're not supposed to be used as the whole entire energy. That's bullshit. You just reading. All I did was write. When you called me earlier, mm -hmm. I felt your energy. You said your name. I meditated as you were talking. That's why I was quiet. I just said a couple of things. When I got off the phone with you, I wrote down a book. Probably mm. about 10 pages. Mm. And then when you called me, I felt your energy again. And some of the things I, I can repeat to you, what I repeated back to you was the things that I had wrote down because I already had it up, written down. The things that I did not have written down, I, it just came off the top of my dome. Okay. So I couldn't repeat those. So when, when you have, I, I have a, I basically took my gift and used it. I used my gift as a business. Basically, shoot, because I can't work. Mm -hmm. I'm not a worker for people. I don't work. I don't, I don't do good in other people's company. That's just not me. And so what I do is I heal. I'm a healer. Mm -hmm. This is my born thing that I do. That I don't know. I've been doing this since I was little. Mm -hmm. I used to sit in the church and tell people who's cheating and who's doing what with who and stuff, and it was crazy, and I used to get in trouble a lot, so, mm -hmm. some things I see, I see things differently, I see things in difference, I can tell when something, sometimes I can tell when it's happening, when it's about to happen, sometimes I talk to you as if it's your past, sometimes I talk to you as if it's about to happen, or as it's happening, I don't know, I just tell you what I see, that's what I do, and I and I try to I try to take what I have to help people because I want everybody to come to me. I want them to leave with trying to change whatever it is in their life that they need to change so they can be greater. And that's you know a good thing, um, which is why my price is a reason because I have my own healing center. So I gotta stay in business, right? Right. Uh, we got money, can't be broke. I can't do the broke thing. Uh, I refuse to. But I make my prices enough for where it's reasonable for people to be able to come to me to get that special help that they need without breaking their pockets. Um, and me being able to have money to take care of my bills, as well as them being able to afford it and they not hurting themselves. I'm not charging them pop a pop 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 you know, them, you know, some the other folks uh, mm -hmm. prices. So. One last question. I know okay. I know you're subscribed to me on YouTube. Have you been watching my, my videos? No, ma'am. Okay, good. I didn't want you to be biased off of that. So that's actually a good thing. But I swear I swear on my children and on my uh, people don't people don't think that um what I do is like let's say you subscribe to me, I'm gonna automatically subscribe to you. Mm-hmm. That's what I do. Have you ever seen my video on Tasha K? Yeah. I did one on Tasha K. I did one on Cardi B. I did one on Seven. I did one on a lot of different people, and I have not ever met them. Yes. Yeah, I did a video on. Yeah. I, I was just saying, Seven is the one that brought me to you. Oh, okay. A lot of her good people. I be in the chat room with her sometimes. That's my girl. I like her because she a Taurus. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I do. So no, I don't go off of what you. Girl, I can't. I can't watch all them damn videos. I watch live. Sometimes I watch the videos, but I swear I've never seen any of your videos. 
I just know your name. I just see your when you responded. I clicked on it. I responded. First, I couldn't even get to it because I my, my uh, laptop is down. I told you my laptop is down. It's been down for about, uh, what was my birthday? May the 3rd. So my laptop broke down probably like Monday or Tuesday. Mm. And uh, I just found a computer guide. I, I ain't been able to use it. Uh, so it should be fixed tomorrow. So I have not gone to any videos. I swear I wouldn't do it like that. I don't want to do you like that. You know why? Because I want you to know I'm for real. Yeah. Yeah, I'm for real. I I like some of these other folks uh, mm-hmm. that I ain't gonna like that be on YouTube and be on all these other shits. I don't even want, I don't even really, I barely watch people read. I don't mm-hmm. like watching and giving people's readings because I don't want their shit to go into my shit. I don't read like other people. I don't pull out, I don't use cards hardly. Only time I use them is if, you know, if I'm in somebody's face or something. Because people be looking at you like you're crazy. If you just, if I sat there, I'd be writing it. So, well, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I end up throwing them on the floor and they'd be laughing at me. They'd be like, why did you even pull them out? I'm like, I don't know. Like, you're not using them because everything I tell them, it don't have nothing to do with the cards. And I show them the cards. And they'd be like, well, the card didn't say that I said, no, it didn't say this. But I'm telling you what I'm saying. So what I'm saying ain't right. Okay, whatever. <laughs> and then when they go home, I, I told people, I see, I see death, I see life, I see a lot of different things. Uh, so I can only go off of what I see. It could be you that I'm talking about, or it could be somebody close to you. So, so you don't even know what I, I I look like. No. Okay. I clicked. I clicked. I I clicked what I said. When I click, only thing I did was click on your thing. Okay. I read people's energy. I don't go off. Like I said, when I kept saying, I said, I'm either, I said, it feels like a male energy. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I say a male energy, a male energy can very well be a female energy. A female uh, energy can be very well male energy. I don't go off of people's names, all that shit. If you tell me the name that you go by, I go off of that energy. Okay. So your name could be, your biological name, because my, because I, I've changed my name. Mm-hmm. My name is a different. My 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 birth name is different. Oh well, my parents named me, but the name that they gave me, I legally changed my name to Nancy Coastal Quality, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, legal, legally, right? Uh, change. Uh, but I have I go off of the names that people give me. Sometimes I take a birthday. Sometimes I don't. I didn't even ask for your birthday. I base my reading off of your of the name that you gave me. Hmm. The name on this is act because remember I said I didn't just before I even got your money before you get your money I just wrote down the yeah. energy I picked up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I that I try not to do that. That's why I tell people don't tell me nothing. I be like don't tell me nothing. But I've done live readings though. You ain't know, have you ever seen my videos when I did live readings? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna say go back and look at them because I didn't even I didn't know none of those people. They just came on and said, "Can you give me a reading?" I was like, "Yeah," and I just gave them a reading. Hmm. Well, good stuff, and I I do feel like you picked up on my energy. Good. Thank you. Good. You're welcome. Anytime you need a reading, I got you, or whatever you need, because again, healers need healers too. Um, healers need healing, and a lot of times, like again, a lot of my clients, I have a, I have a, I have chiropractors with my clients. I have medical doctors. Yes, I sure do. Psychiatrists. I have all kind of people that come to me in secret. <laughs> but that's mm. who that they come to me. So I don't give a shit. I don't care if they white, black, green, transgender, female, male, monkey, dog, 
white, green. I'm a healer. I'm universal. I don't give a shit about none of that. My goal is to help people from where they are and taking them to the next level in their life. That's all I want to do, and I want to get paid for it. So, mm. <laughs> so that's my objective. That's what I would do. Uh, and I'm not a typical healer. I curse. <laughs> mm-hmm. I curse. I curse people out <laughs> sometimes. Not my clients. I love them. But I'm just saying, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they give me my right personal. But just other people. Sometimes, some, sometimes I, you know, I can read. People. I read people in my sleep. So I'm. I do it for a living. I just. I'm passionate about. It. I love it. It's great. Uh, but it's great. But if it wouldn't make me no money, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I, just, I, I 